2011, and a lot of people are still not using Twitter, which I just absolutely don't understand. So we're going to do a screencast, I'm going to show you about why this is an issue, why you should be using Twitter. Okay, we're just going to go through it all, a little bit at a time. All right, so first of all, let's look at our alternatives. We go to email. I can open up an email and send it to you at your site.com and him at his site, his site.com and her at her site.com and send a message. Okay. Hey all, etc., etc., etc. All right. Three people are going to get this message. Now, the problem is that if they, when they reply, do not choose reply to all, they just click reply, I'll be the only one getting this message. So when somebody sends an email out to a bunch of people, okay, if I just click reply, I'm only going back to that one individual sender. Whereas clicking reply to all, it'll come up to everybody else. So if you want to talk to a bunch of people at once, that's not the way to do it. All right, so email's a problem. Plus, email, you send it, and then whenever somebody logs in, they get it. There's no real notification. I mean, sure, smartphones make us more mobile and accessible, but not better. So we want to have a conversation in real time, like we're talking to people. Okay? We have the instant messaging platform. So I can instant message somebody and say, hey, buddy, quick question. Now, I may or may not get a reply from this person. I don't even know if he's actually at his computer right now. Right? And this is one person. If I wanted to send to somebody else, I'd have to open up yet another one and send the message out to this person and then a message out to this person. See? And now I've got a bunch of tabs coming up down here at the bottom to show all the different people that I can talk to. Not good for initiating group conversations. Plus, these all rely on existing relationships. Facebook. You have to then go and get, let's go over to Facebook. That's not the Facebook. You need to be able to be friends with somebody already to talk to them. And if you send them a request, you can't just listen in. Finally, we have Twitter. Okay. Twitter, I can send out a 140 character message. Short snippets, short little blurbs and blasts right from here. This is a test message showing people how Twitter works. When I send this out, people are going to be able to respond. And this just came back in there. Ah, see? Got a response back from this person now. Okay. But this way, I can send this out to everybody. Anybody that's listening. I have 317 people on this account listening to me. Everything I say, they will see it. Bottom line. So I can blast this out. Let's try this. Anyone who is listening, send an at reply to me to let me know. Tweet. And there we go. This went out into the world. Okay. So very quickly, I can let people know, let everybody know what I have to say. In short snippets, not long five-page emails. You don't have to be live at your computer to respond to an IM. You can do it via text message, via Twitter, via email. You can send them in. There's lots of ways to do it. What I use is here. This is TweetDeck. Okay? So this will allow me to do different things. So under my JVEG account, this is everything. Anybody that I follow anything I say comes up here. This column mentions anybody that speaks to me. At JVig, great. Please, please let us know if you need clarification on anything. Okay. Anybody that's speaking to me will come up in this column. Personal friends, anybody that I know in person, in life, will show up over here, whether they're talking to me or not. Because I've got people that I follow for business reasons that I don't need to see, um, you know, that I don't necessarily see. Uh, things get mixed up. So in here, I see everybody all at once, all the people that I know in life. Here are direct messages. These are private conversations. If I send a direct message to an individual, this is a sample 
direct message. Only he and I will see this. Here I have another account, and here I have another account. I have multiple Twitter accounts for different reasons. So I can have multiple columns, and you can customize your columns. You can search for something and have a column just based on that search. If somebody says something in here, you can watch that. Follow Friday. This is how people let other people know who to follow on Friday. I would, it's just a, every Friday we do it. So now I have a follow Friday column. And it's populating now with everything. Anybody that said FF for follow Friday all day today will show up in here. So that's one way that I can do it. You can search for things. Finally, we have this little hashtag. And if we find a message that has one in it, a good one, this will make a whole lot more sense. And of course, one's not coming up at the moment. I guess follow Friday is the only one. If you put a hashtag, which is a pound sign and an FF, or whatever you're talking about, it's what we call a trending topic. I gotta get rid of this column. It's going bananas here. Hang on, let me get rid of this. Okay. So this hashtag, all that does is, is it makes something searchable. So if everybody's talking about the Yankees, we do pound sign Yankees in the middle of your sentence, you know? Something like, you know, I love the pound Yankees. Okay? Now, anybody that searches for Yankees or searches for all the hashtags that have Yankees in it will see that, and they can find other Yankees fans. You can do it for any topic. You can do it in any way. It's very, very convenient. So the, the long and short of this is I can go to Twitter, and I can look for somebody. Who's somebody that's a big-time tweeter? I don't follow him because I don't follow celebrities, but Ashton Kutcher, he tweets constantly. Here he is. I click on this follow button. Now I'm following. Now I will see everything that Ashton Kutcher says. Bottom line, it's that simple. Okay? Celebrities have it, news organizations. You know, you're a big Microsoft fan. Search for Microsoft. Microsoft News. Followed. Microsoft followed. Windows specifically. The help at Microsoft and Microsoft Office. Okay? Now, anytime any one of those says anything, I will automatically see it. Bottom line, you have to follow each other. If you want to send direct messages, I have to follow you. You have to follow me. And that's how we'll get messages, direct messages. Now, other than that, it's on the public timeline. So information's out there. When I was looking for a storage solution, which is now my Drobo, I love this thing. I didn't know what to do. I was putting out tweets like looking for a good storage solution, looking for a good network area storage for my home, things like that. And I was just putting hashtags in there and just asking it and talking to people that I know uh, used it, different things, and getting responses. So I'd ask one person, and somebody that followed them would respond, and we'd all follow each other, and you just you grow your network that way. It's that simple. That's why it's cool. You can link it with things. From here, I can also post to Facebook. So I can click that one, highlight that up here, top left corner, and I can type something, and that'll go my Facebook status. I can do Facebook and Twitter. I can post to Foursquare. Multiple Twitter accounts, my Facebook fan pages, the Vig the Geek page, or my photography page. I can do it all from within this application called TweetDeck. This is too much for you. You can very simply hang out just in Twitter itself. And that's just as convenient. So here are a couple of quick things. If you have more questions about it, you let me know. Um, I guess the only other thing that I would show you is an at reply. So I just followed Ashton Kutcher. His name is A plus K. So if I want to say something to him or about him, I could say, I just started following. You put an at sign and the username. If I type that, and that would show up. Then anybody, then he would see it as me following him. And he could then respond if he wanted to. Or other people could look and see that. And they could say, who is that? And I say, it's Ashton Kutcher. Now they have his name. And they can go follow him as well. Lots of things that you can do. It's we're able to broadcast what you have to say to the world in short blurbs, short snippets. Use the website, use a client, whatever you're comfortable with, but use it today because you will meet and interact with people in no time. Highly recommend it. If you have any further questions, feel free to hit me up and I'll see what I can do to help you out.